is that going to stay physically active, whether you are an athlete or not, or when you're done for your college athletic career, because it's extremely beneficial for your health. Um, America does have a health problem, and it's not just being obese. Like everyone knows, America is a fat country, but it's not just that. It's that you can be skinny and out of shape too. Um, only 49.4% of Americans meet um, aerobic physical activity standards, which is pretty bad, less than 50%, and only 23.9% of Americans meet the strength, the muscle and strength activity guidelines, um, which is even worse, and 20.4% meet both. Um, and that adult means anyone from 18 years old and up. So um, this comes from a survey from the CDC, and this was published in 2015, so this is really recent information. This is a graph from a similar study, but from started, ended in 2009, and as you can see, as you get older, you get more out of shape, which shouldn't be the actual, shouldn't be a problem because as you get older, the guideline changes, so like an eight-year-old won't have to do an 18-year-old's workout to be considered in shape by this, by the guidelines. Um, there are so many benefits to staying physically active. It's, I needed to narrow it down to two, and um, the two are <laughs> improvement to your just overall body health and your mental health. Um, yeah, so you improve mentally from working out too, which some people wouldn't think about that right away, but it has more effect on your brain than you would actually think. Um, and it's kind of a corny picture, but it's really true that um, a healthy body and a healthy mind equals a happy life. So. If you stay healthy in both aspects, you will have a good life. Um, the benefit to your bodily health is you will lose weight. That's not even a main one, but if you're overweight and you start exercising, you will lose weight, which will lessen the stress on your joints, lessen like diseases associated with being obese and things of that sort. Um, it also strengthens your heart and other internal organs because you put it under more stress while working out, which is actually a good thing, even though it sounds bad. So it's like a muscle. So when you put your muscles under stress, they become stronger and bigger, which is good for them. So you won't be in the heart. You won't be affected by heart disease as much. And if you already have heart disease, it will significantly lower your the rate of mortality, according to American Journal of Medicine, the, in a study, people who started um, doing physical activity after being diagnosed with coronary artery disease were four times less likely to actually die from it, which is really impressive. Um, as I said, it strengthens your other internal organs, not just your lungs because of the breathing, but your kidneys and just everything else. And this other last point goes under the weight loss part is it reduces your cholesterol and and deaths like induced from said cholesterol so it's also good for you in all ways and another cheesy picture is a healthy heart is a healthy you um, the heart basically is <coughs> like the life source of your body it is the most important part of your body it circulates all the good stuff and all the bad stuff throughout your body so Having a healthier circulatory system means you're just going to be better off overall. The second main point is the benefit to the mental health. Um, it increases your happiness, actually, and not just like that sense of success when you're done with a workout. It actually releases endorphins, which are hormones that make you feel happy or euphoria, which, if it makes you happy just automatically, you should just do it because kind of free happiness without having to accomplish anything. Um, it also reduces stress by producing another hormone, nor norepinephrine, which is the hormone that regulates the amount of bodily and emotional stress with you. So another good thing. Um, another benefit to mental health is that it does help a lot with depression. It rebuilds, well, stimulates neuro neuron growth and reconnects the nerves. So it's a natural antidepressant, but it's not a supplement. Like, 
typically take someone off antidepressants, so if someone is clinically depressed, they should be quit depressants, but this is very helpful to people who are clinically depressed and is encouraged by many doctors. Um, it also improves memory and cognitive function. This is probably one of the most important things that it does is that it's extremely deaf. It just causes like Alzheimer's. It, it stops Alzheimer's altogether, and um, it's really important because people who have Alzheimer's it will like, slow <laughs> the rate of Alzheimer's significantly, and it's just really important for that. And um, that's a picture of the cognitive function of the brain. It's just it's really important because you wouldn't expect working out would work out your brain too, but it's actually really good for your brain and. Really, as you grow older, your body starts to just break down, and this will help make sure your body and especially your brain not break down. Uh, in conclusion, I'm going to leave you with a quote from Edward T. Cregan. A successful athlete works to stay healthy so he can stay in the game. That advice works for non-athletes as well. He's basically saying that you should just stay healthy for the game of life because whether you are an athlete or not, a healthier body will make anything better and easier and just there's so many health improvements from physical activity I just would urge all people to whether you are an athlete or you're by the end of your college career that you should stay physically active and if you're not physically active you should become physically active and yeah